and welcome back to XCOM 2 Legendary Iron Man Exquisite Timing. My name is Saiken and we're continuing the final mission. <clears throat> I am pretty stoked and a uh, little bit afraid that uh, this might be too much that we've bargained for. But nonetheless, let's try our best to first of all finish this round and later down the road uh, hopefully also at least come to the last room. I already mentioned a bit um, ago in the first uh, episode, which you should uh, view uh, if you haven't done so, that the last room might be a bit too much for us. Short recap, uh, we are about a third into the overall uh, mission. As you can see, we've taken our stance here. We fought the first uh, Chosen. We fought six or seven chrysalids, if I remember correctly, um, a gatekeeper, four mutants, and four partially advanced mechs, all of uh, whom we meant to kill. Now it's time to really regroup and make sure that we're uh, being sincere with our uh, promise to ourselves to not take too much damage. I will try to kind of work my way through here for the time being. Um, not usually the path that I would take. I like to go through the middle of the rooms, but unfortunately most of the cover here is missing there is a lot of burning cover so we'll, uh, we'll just try to maneuver we still got almost all of our consumables uh, ready to go which is important because uh, that uh, will be needed in the last room quite frankly in terms of consumables that we've used one grenade is down and i think that's pretty much it we got one um, technical advantage that we've used. On the upside, we're um, full of um, uh, focus. And we got a pretty decent overall uh, situation. The only real disappointing aspect is we got chrysalid poison on our avatar meaning he will continue to take damage everything around between one and two uh, he will continue to heal that but it will slow down his regeneration and uh, while well, he is not allowed to die anyways if he was to die um, it would be over regardless but yeah the fact that the avatar is regenerating is probably the only reason why i haven't used a med kit yet we're continuing to use our scout here as a first line There's of defense to also double check what we're up against. See, there are the remaining um, autonomous uh, creatures, mechs, heavy mechs specifically with four armor and a lot of health is pretty um, threatening we got a second pot back here we already know that because the ground was shaking multiple times which only sectopods tend to do at least in such a severe manner that it is actually like fully shaking andromedons from time to time also cause a bit of an um, eruption here. when they move but certainly not to the same degree as sectopods do like i mentioned we're going over here Reloaded most of the crew. There's no need to speed this up no too much. Rock and, roll. and I would like to actually move Zirkim into a solid place. Good to go. Everyone else is now reloaded. Chrysalid poison continues to tick. I hope it is not increasing in its um, in its ticks. If we could remote start something near them, that would be absolutely fantastic. That's a pack of five, which is pretty beefy in its own right. Yeah, we saw the ground shaking again. Let's start up front here I am at your service moving we got a remote start over here 
Not too bad. Can't really bank on the fact that they wouldn't be joining us here because they can traverse uh, the height if they so desire. What we can do though is just position ourselves here. That's a pretty safe spot for now. Good. Mention that we want to get our sniper into a decent position. I would even prefer high grounds, but that's probably not possible. Let's position Zirkin here for now. Not the perfect position, but somewhat decent. Moving everyone who okay, theoretically Parker. can be at the front line to the front line. We want to prevent injuries yeah. from everyone except the Avatar for now. Uh, believe it or not, but he's going to tank Stepping through off. this. It's a fine line that I'm walking, because I know damn well if he dies, uh, the entire mission is over. On the other hand, if we're taking too much damage, uh, we are uh, forced to use medkits right now. And that's a big, big no-no for us. Probably need to fall back. Um, I don't want to pull them. Not in a com uh, conver uh, uh, conventional manner. Ground is still shaking. Yeah, and we gotta definitely pull back here. Okay, so everyone just back the f away from here. I'm on the move. Specifically, the commander's avatar, a little bit too exposed for my taste. No, we don't want to... Well, we can't long watch, so it's just pistol overwatch. Wait, wait, wait. Did we long watch? Didn't check that. Okay. In case we did... Um, I will reposition. Long watch. We don't want to pull them because he theoretically could pull them and uh, by having line of sight from bones we don't want to do that instead all right needed to take a short break i was about to elaborate instead what we want to do is we want to just go on overwatch with everyone here wait one round hope that they are moving into the remote startable area and then take it from there got to be very careful with long watch it's a great ability, but if it pulls an entire pack, not so good. Alright. Back to our original plan. I go where you tell me. Let's make sure we're going over here. Let's hope that they are simply going to run into us. For now, we're pistol overwatching. Let's hope that the AI moves into our direction and not away from us. Meaning the Reaper. Well, of course, the AI does the exact opposite, which is fine. It is what it is. We can get a little bit closer though and still try to figure out if we might be able to remote start something behind there. The Reaper is behind enemy lines and very much on his own. I am trusting you. Pretty sure there are no more chrysalids, so at least that's being taken care of. This here is kind of our golden ticket. Scanning. 
Good. Everyone overwatches except you can just pistol overwatches. Good, let's find the right engagement angle. We don't want to use resources because we already found out that that would be bad. There is going to be another Chosen whom we're going to meet uh, soon. So hopefully that's the Warlock. Okay, so what do we have? A sectoid and still a couple of mechs. The sectoid would never be on his own here. So what if we were to explode this portion here? Don't know how many were going to affect with it. Might be just one sectoid. But I'm still willing to give it a go because there's no downside and I can't move further that turn. It had been only one sector. Scanning. Affirmative. Covering now. Moving to Overwatch. My watch begins. On Overwatch. I was hoping we would get a bit more out of it. Fortunately, we do not. And let's definitely hope we're getting the Warlock as the next individual. There's an Andromeda. This thing looks ready to smash something. Is that an environment suit? Maybe something that can't handle our atmosphere? Those emissions could be toxic. I advise caution, Commander. The remaining... It seems that the Andromedon was together with all of uh, the... All of uh, the sectors. As you order, Commander. Or not. Um, maybe the Andromedon is uh, joined by just two of the codices. This here looks explodable. I'll just keep up here for now. The mechs have almost continued their full circle around, so they're very much here, which means they could be coming in uh, into our range. We of course don't want to fight them head on, which even though it might look coward uh, co like cowards, uh, will mean that we gotta back up. And quite frankly, I don't care if it looks cowardice. What is important is that we do have a, a straight shot to so. do something that hasn't been done before. And I will do whatever it takes. So way. let's just go a tiny bit back. Moving to Overwatch. I'll maintain my watch. Overwatch. 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 We are continuing our Overwatch spree. Just in case if anyone actually runs into us. Probably need to put the avatar even further to the front line. Alright, so they are alarmed, which they have every right to be. I will reposition. We have uh, no means to explode anything, so we're just going to take the safest route and wait for Covering now. I'm on it. No one was I do understand that that is not the most exciting gameplay, but I gotta trick the AI into a trap and even 
our chances a little bit. Massive pack was here. Could have easily um, started to spot us out if we wouldn't have backtracked, so that was clever in hindsight. But still only got that remote start. Moving out. But wait, there is more. This here looks like an excellent remote start. And our position here looks like an excellent position. A bit clo uh, too close to them for my taste, so I'm going to move back. The problem is sometimes the AI is cheating and starting to just detect you by using their knowledge of uh, your position. And I want to prevent that from happening. So they can only do that by moving once. I'm always staying a little bit further than one um, blue move away from them. And you can see they are already alarmed. So then, um, you know what, if everyone just is coming for my neck, Trusting Might you. as well be that guy who is luring them into. Oh, holy shit! Even more. Okay. Might as be be that guy who's luring them into a false sense of security, and then we're going to see what's up. Let's I go where I am move to here, and I hope that they are going to follow me. On Overwatch. On Overwatch. Affirmative. Covering now. Maintaining this area. Need to put the avatar a little bit further to the front. He should be the one tanking. And we can't cluster up like that, not if we're fighting against uh, robotics, because they are going to use rockets. Well, there he is. King of the hill, the sector bot. Okay, so just theoretically speaking, we got four remote starts here, pretty small remote start back there. Yeah, but that, I mean, it's a start. I go where you tell me. All right, reloading. Commander's avatar moves over here. Excuse me. Okay. Roger that. I will sense any disturbance. Come on in. Affirmative. Over now. Still continuing to wait. Let's see. They are eager to come closer. They are definitely eager. Look at that. They definitely know what's up. Now we just gotta pull them nicely into the trap. The AI thinks it is very smart. Let's see if I can As manage to outsmart it. All right, bring it on. Yes, here is a decent position. Moving to Overwatch. Overwatch. Scanning. My senses are scanning. It's moving up slowly but surely. Come on. I know you want to get closer. 
I know you want to accident, uh, quote unquote, accidentally discover the Reaper. They should move a bit closer. I will go. Still trying to lure them really a tiny bit closer. Problem is, I only got a very limited range here. No remote starts over here whatsoever. No one will cross. Overwatch. I'm on it. Moving to Overwatch. I'll keep it under watch. Moving to Overwatch. If that doesn't work out, we gotta start using sniper tactics. I was trying to shy away from them because it's dangerous. You can get caught out. Are they actually trying to pincer me in here? It almost appears as if they were going to try to pincer me. Oh, come on. A lot of beating around the bush. I want some action now. Oh, they refuse to get onto the platform. Yet you can see how 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 they're definitely well aware of what's going on. And the problem is, don't be fooled uh, just by them kind of I am on the move. yeah beating around the bush. As soon as uh, they start to trigger us, and as soon as they do have an option to actually. Uh, find us. Also, the chosen will come, and then the whole situation will look so much worse. I wish we could explode this here. I am at your service. No, it's only the same remote start that we've been using before. Oh, so disappointing. I am They were staying away from that middle aisle. And instead, they are afraid that we're leaving. <laughs> this is hilarious. Oh my gosh, how can I not throw a claymore in there. Okay. Gotta be honest. This is the most ridiculous uh, placement that I've ever seen. Okay, here's the deal. <laughs> These guys are also moving in here. I'm going to use a claymore. Watching comes naturally. Got it covered. Moving to Overwatch. Affirmative. Covering now. We would have pulled the entire room at the same time. And the, the amount of damage is probably 150 points of damage. All of them are getting hit.
Well, now look at what just happened. I will reposition. All of a sudden, everyone found out that they can spread out again. <sighs> I will go. I don't want to be discovered. Still waiting for them. God, the clustering up would have been so insanely valuable. But I don't think that they're going to do it again. Not yet. I do have a hinge though that every every single one of them is willing to move into us. Yep. Pretty much every single one of them. At this point, the AI just doesn't care anymore. It's not even hiding that it is uh, tracking me. Okay, if you all want to track me, go ahead, no problem, be my guest. Just move into the explode uh, or remote startable area and we're going to be fine. But no. They've learned their lesson. Okay, I think we gotta start slowly but surely sniping them down. Do we have high ground? No. Do we have a clear line of sight? Probably not. Nope. No, no, uh, can't hit any of them. Moving to Overwatch. Got it covered. Overwatch. I am watching. Scanning. Let's wait to get them in line of sight, and then we're going to start sniping them. We still got all of the cooldowns ready and it's now almost 30 minutes in. I might even cut that segment off. Okay, so... Let's see, what can our sniper realistically hit? We got a few mechs, okay, fair enough. But we don't want to mess with that. I much rather would like to get the guys uh, behind because they are easier targets to finish. Yeah, and I see what the AI is trying to do. It's trying to convince me that I they will really move it. away, but in reality they will find me up there. Good. We're starting nonetheless. I told you that I am a bit tired of just waiting. Good. Pack is officially uh, pulled. Are we ignoring our armor? Short stake and shadow of two armor piercing. Yes, so that's a hundred percent kill.
good. They are running into our direction. We of course want to slow the process of engaging them as much as possible. So moving a tiny bit back. Commander's avatar can stand in the front. It's a free aid protocol here. That's full cover. And it would be two overwatches. <clears throat> Hogbite is moving into full cover, still pretty far away. And just for safety uh, purpose, he's hunkering down against advanced mechs with uh, full armor or four armor. He's not going to uh, put a dent into them anyways. But he's a much less attractive target if he is in full cover. Avatar is suppressed. The mechs are running rampage. Of course, they knew exactly where we are. With the exception of that one mech, uh, who pretends to still search. Those guys here will try to find us. Good. We're being suppressed, meaning not much for us. There's a nice little dimensional rift. Which also removes the suppression. And since we're... Can we somehow get them all into it? Probably not. Well, we can get the two big ones into it. There we go. Perfect. Moving in. Killing it. And we're taking momentum to move out again. Let's continue to rest uh, the last mech. Decent. Decent bit of damage. We're looking at what? Still too many hit points left over, so nothing is gonna come from that. Spreading out just a tiny bit. Not that I would fear that the mech would actually start hitting us, but you know, just in case. Moving up over here. Getting that overwatch and everyone else overwatches as well. I think the engagement was solid. Might have been too scared of engaging them in the first place. Which really I should not have been to begin with. Alright, those guys are just running in. And there's the second iteration, which deals even more damage. Well, it's hilarious. Let's do this. Good. Reloading time. To deal with the sector port, not yet. Alright, Hogbite. 
is moving back, and since we don't need his overwatch, we're just going to let him hunker down for now. Good. We gotta wait for <clears throat> the cooldowns of the Avatar to refresh. I almost feel like I need to apologize for the thir uh, first 30 minutes of gameplay. I'll definitely put a comment in the description. Uh, I might have been way too uh, defensive. But on the other hand, I just don't want to screw it up. Not on the final leg of uh, this great endeavor. Good. How many more rounds do we need to wait? Yep, that's four more rounds. My senses are keen. Got it covered. I see everything. Overwatch. Overwatch. One thing that concerns me just a tiny bit is we haven't even seen the next chosen. Okay, a few more rounds of overwatching. Moving to overwatch. Covering now. I'll maintain my watch. My life is in your hands. Good. Three more rounds. Because we're going to use the cooldowns from the avatar to blast our way through almost every single pack. Oh, that's a long watch. Uh, trying to minimize its impact by just getting out of the way, really. I will sense any disturbance. If that long watch would provoke anyone, it wouldn't be the end of the day, uh, the world. Did not. That's good. We got one more round to go. So let's slowly but surely move to a position where we can see our enemies and then we're going to engage them. Biggest challenge if you say so. with the core diseases is they now. can teleport watch. to us, so just standing back will not be a solution for our problem. Affirmative. Moving out. I'm on it. You normally want to eradicate them right away and just leave one copy standing. Problem is with our uh, sniper. Now that might not even be possible. Okay, we're not having them in viable target range. I am at your service. Let's try to change positions and get an angle on them. Problem is, they are standing all the way behind Roger there. Zia can still moves into a tiny bit better position. Everyone overwatches, and I'm waiting for them to take a move. Just any move at this point out of cover would work. They seem to be quite set in their way, so how about we're changing the rest of the equation? Now right, everyone overwatches, including Longwatch. They slowly but surely start to move. 
Am I seeing some sort of target pointer anywhere here? No. Order's confirmed. Moving out. Just taking a bit of a better position, really. Alright, they are no longer moving. And they are reacting to the Reaper, really. I am on the move. Let's try to lure them over here. I'll keep an eye on it. I'm on it. Oh, I'm on it. On Overwatch. No one will slip past. I'm on it. If that doesn't work, we need to slowly but surely move up. Don't underestimate the Andromedon. It's a pretty nasty foe if you have such low damage output. Oak says I am to obey. Yeah, they are camping there. Uh, probably not going to move. All right, time for us to take our fate into our own hands. Moving up, moving up, I'm all over it. and moving up. I'm all over it. Keep in mind, the absolute priority is no injuries whatsoever. We need the med kit and our hit points in the final room. Good. This here is not going to trigger them. I will probably need Hogbite. So I the two of them I... can move forward whilst the rest is somewhat staying back. Uh, reason for that is also we successfully removed any form of cover. That's a bit of the disadvantage of using kind of a nuclear strike every single time you're going for an enemy pack. Almost everyone is in full cover. Long watch enabled. Still only got the same old remote start options. I was even, even considering to remote start something in the middle, just to get their attention. Okay, so they are standing right there, right? Okay, that's a big fat hit for all of them. There we go. You know, I think we're even going to take the Andromedon. Because why not? It takes him out. We can tank the Secto uh, pod. And there's just no disadvantage. I like it. It's time for Hogbite to do his dirty deed. Well, 
Perfect. Just getting a bit out of there. Yeah, and let's finish that codex as well. There we go. Pack cleaned up. Thanks to psionic powers, easy peasy. Come get some. Got it covered. Scanning. All right, we're going to use him to pull the um, to for the next pack. The uh, three sectors should be fine. Don't want to pull, mind you, the sector pod. One of the things that I haven't fully figured out yet is the rate of or the chance of breaking mind control. It has to do with the, di um, or I was told it has to do with the distance between mind controller and mind control i I'm not 100% sure about that to be honest. Everyone else starts moving up. I think Don't we're taking that. the high ground there as our next objective. Stepping off. Copy that. So as I was saying, if you have detailed information, I, I was looking up a couple of forum posts, but it is indecisive. Some people claim that it is the distance. There's a, definitely a fixed timer for it. I always thought it uh, would be the cooldown minus one. Um, and I'm not talking about Dominator. I specifically talk about the commander's ability to mind control. Acid bomb too far away. There we go, finally triggered them. That's fine. take a look. The door is wonderful because it can block line of sight if I so desire. Okay, cool. Can we reach either of them? The answer is no. Can't snipe them either. So that's not going to work as well. Okay, I'll go. Which means we're going to keep a very tight formation here. Shocker, I know. We haven't done that uh, throughout the entire run. To designated position. We're going to close the door so they can deal with the Andromedon. I don't mind. Just out of curiosity. Nullens would still kill him. Might as well do that. Probably removes the cover. No, I was wrong. And I was also wrong. He took not as much damage as I was hoping he would. Could have finished him now with the Reaper, but he's already on Overwatch. So, a tiny bit of uh, mistakes. None that will be substantial
Eh, we're just we're fine. We're just chilling out of completely out of line of sight. To the massive amount of armor, <coughs> the Andromedon has learned to not give a fuck. We want to get our cooldowns back, so we're not going to engage any further packs without killing those guys here. There we go, one down. Thousands to go, as they say. Heading out. Hundred percent chance to end this poor soul. That's exactly what we're doing. And Hoppite is going to charge in, kill this guy. And we're going to parry. Let's deal with the obvious. Gotta at some point get down the Andromedon. Five to seven, so that's really one to three. We could deal maximum damage, we don't want to do that. Hopbite is the definite target if uh, the, the Andromedon breaks free. And Hopbite does have uh, parry, so I am not worried. Commander is here. Let's just get back so that there are no further obvious targets, and we're going to kill the Andromeda next turn. Yeah, it sticks with the mind control, which is fine. Okay, so let's go to here. Really make sure that we're in a nice open spot. Let's rock. So it's down to three hit points, right? Right. Okay. So we're ignoring all of the armor and only credit. That's only two points of damage, but still logic applies. Problem with the with many of the high hit point targets, right? You're ending up in this weird spot where you definitely know that you're doing the right thing by attacking it. At the same time, it just eats so much damage, ridiculous. And it's not a lot if you're uh, using up to standard weapons. But just look at the amount of damage this is. Um, this was an 
uh, completely shredded and just with um, effectively one pistol shot that like ends killed Andromedon and it still almost took the entire team just to get it down. So yeah, something to consider. One last pack. My biggest grudge so far is we haven't seen a second chosen. And that means he is somewhere out there. Which is a bad thing. It is terrible. It might mean that we're going to face two Chosens in the final room. Which is probably as pleasant as pulling teeth at the dentist. And I'm going to be honest, if we're really having two Chosens in the final room, I'm not sure how this is going to play out. I mean, I usually consider myself having an ace up uh, my sleeve, but uh, if we're actually fighting two full-fledged, fully upgraded uh, Chosen that are going to engage in the combat, I don't know, man. That's a scary prospect. My senses are keen. On Overwatch. I am on watch. Moving closer without triggering them yet. It's probably the closest that you can get without triggering them. Nice little flanking here from Quick Feet. is that's going to be a tough pack two andromedons two mutants and the sector port holy shit that is a lot of hit points the power guides me trying to somewhat stay hidden but yet in an area that makes sense. Maybe I'm Let's even required to um, to use the claymore here. I don't know, claymore plus um, plus the cooldowns from the avatar might be enough to Scanning. kill most of them. I'm super careful with the claymores because they are incredibly valuable. So, Avatar. We're looking at what? 7 to 9. Even a little bit more from time to time. But that won't kill them. But if we're upping the ante. It will almost certainly kill them. Is it worth... Is it worth it? Um, probably. 
But we gotta wait one more round until we get our Nullens back, just in case. Now it's going to be the go-to, and uh, we, I don't want to use it, but I think we have to, so shrapnel, that's a shrapnel that would hit everyone. Now we wait. Alright, it's used, there's no more going back. This should trigger the shrub now. Did not, okay. Uh. Wow, that was incredibly disappointing. Wow, that was incredibly disappointing. Big, big uh, blunder. I was under the impression it would count as, um, as an explosion effect. Turned out that that was not the case. It's not the absolute end of the world, but well, it is the end of the world. Uh, it did nothing. It's just an awkwardly wasted um, explosive. Let's make sure we're killing the ones that we can kill right away. for the sector port. Okay, how are we going to do that? Hmm, let's think. That's some solid damage. The mutant would die if continuing to stay in there. And this here is not bad as a setup. Went well through his armor. Can run and gun. Can't yet kill it though. A protocol. Definitely on someone who's going to be exposed, not bones. Let's put it on Renvin. That way we can get another shredding on the sector port. was uh, the hope to execute him. Clearly didn't work out. Good. Taking run and gun. Moving in. Into full cover. 
We're not using either of our cooldowns. That's a nice hit. That's a very nice hit. Okay. Can't kill the mutant, although it would be nice to do that. Vault will not jump over. No, 13%. That's ridiculously low. Uh, but what we can do is we can amplify the damage onto the sector pod, which certainly is helpful. That will not um, end our turn. Oh, are you serious? We just were able to reach him. Oh, wow, that is bad. Taking a free shot because, yep, it's free. Well, I can explain why that happened, but it is incredibly rare. So here's the deal. Depending on your movement rate, uh, you will be able to move, if it's an uneven number, you will be able to move one further at the, uh, at the very first movement, but you will not be able to move as far at the second one. Let's say you have 50 movement rate, you can take a, 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 a it wouldn't uh, be an even movement in both cases. So what they are instead doing is they're allowing you to take one step further at the first movement, but then the second movement is uh, a little bit shorter, which in theory is fine. I, oh, wow, well, but I was hoping that that would not be the case. We're now taking damage. Very bad. Yeah. Okay. So many choices. So little time. Plan B to kill him with um to kill him with um Bladestorm didn't work out. Everything just got a little bit more dangerous. Good. Let's start to shred the Chosen. There's still a sector pod around. Who, by the way, still has armor as well. I think the Chosen is more difficult to shred, so might as well start with him. Plus also the Acid Burn will be nice. Moving up, let's get the sector port first. What a poor last pack. Certainly, I did not play that perfectly, but boy oh boy was uh, that a cluster of a pack. start perspective yeah that's not even an option we we'll try to hit him don't want to do that I go where you tell me I'm 
just trying to get a bit more distance. I would like to kill, let him kill uh, the Andromedon, that way he gets untouchable. Gotta need to use our first healing. Very disappointed in that. Probably even a second healing. Offering the chosen, uh, the commander's avatar as a bit of bait here. Good. So, what are we going to do? Let's reload first. We're definitely going to use the shotgun, mainly because it has a hair trigger. Hair trigger can give bonus actions. The melee attack never could give bonus actions. We're using the second heal. I don't like it, but it seems necessary. There we go, maximum focus again. I am staying in parry mode. And this will not be a return fire, so I might as well <clears throat> start peppering him. Wouldn't see anyone else. We're blocking I'm our uh, way up there. We only need the commander it's probably going to summon. It's open on the rest. There's the blade storm for the extra damage. Untouchable for good measure. We were blocking him, so he just chose to take another try another else. place. That was a double movement. Not very smart of him. Not very smart, I might say. Does he have return fire? Last shield, kinetic plating, no. Okay, so there is no disadvantage for trying to hit him. Nope, didn't work, so he now gets low profile, that's cool. Good. Before we're going to go any closer, let's move up here and try to hit him. The Andromedon normal gun, uh, since it's a plasma gun, is also shredding. And it's dealing a hell lot of da uh, damage, as you can see. 14 points. That is marvelous. Nine to ten. I think we're better off just taking a good old shot at uh, at him. Twelve points of damage. Chosen is not liking it. Not at all. We go, killed him. Close combat's not really my style. Could have reloaded beforehand. That won't do it. I'll chalk that up to beginner's luck. Feel the power of the Templars. 
Nice one. Now I'm getting a little angry. Oh, you could get a lot uh, angry if you like to. But it won't change the situation out a bit. All right. Not the cleanest of all uh, place. I am, yeah, disappointed with uh, being hit once. That was really. It was a combination of uh, really not playing it super well, but and having a uh, a messy start, but also failing to hit two shots in a row and then uh, failing the blade storm. Sometimes those uh, things. Uh, just uh, add up. I mentioned it uh, in the first video. If you're trying something that has so little margin for error, sometimes I don't even uh, can afford to have like a plan B or a plan C. Oftentimes it is just what it is and I'm trying to get along. We still have two charges of healing left over. Not a great uh, deal, but I think it will be enough to just keep us alive. And afterwards uh, it's it's praying um, uh, as a default uh, anyways we gotta uh, get a few really solid hits in and uh, gotta deal with those um, with those avatars to begin with because we're in a we're in a messy situation there is no way in hell that this group here can by any stretch of the imagination uh, go up against the hordes that are going to come in. Um, the one good uh, thing is the um, avatar seems to have lost his chrysalid poison, which is great. Just assessing where we are, um, besides having many uh, abilities on cooldown, we still got one more grenade uh, left over. We got uh, one shrapnel uh, grenade. We got two charges of our healing, so pretty much half of the resources are gone. With the exception of the Mimic Beacons, we still have all of them, and that is pretty vital in uh, my humble opinion. Uh, so I would say, uh, just from the importance perspective, we have lost around 25% of our resources, which is, I would say, okay, but not uh, fantastic. Everyone's still on full hit points, and uh, this will be the last room. Uh, longer mission or longer second part as I, um, as I would have um, expected. I've decided I will let all of the gameplay in, so just to have a complete track. But I will give a timestamp um, into kind of the 30 minute mark where the fighting actually begins, because I definitely can appreciate that the first 30 minutes with me trying to maneuver into the correct position might be a little bit boring but please also appreciate that saving resources also means you've got to be really patient in this game um, it's not an action game it's a strategy game for a reason anyways guys if you enjoyed it and if you're trying to support me in the very last mission i need the comments down below now um, i'd like to hear your predictions of how this very last room is going to go out Am I going to kill one? Am I going to kill uh, zero, one, two, or all three of the avatars? Uh, that's the question. Um, the odds are heavily stacked against us, so tell me uh, what you think, and we're going to see what I can pull off. Take care, guys. Um, thanks for supporting the channel, and see you in the last mission. Bye-bye.